Hi there, this is Rob from Reason101.net and I'm here to talk to you about a, another tutorial, another Reason5 tutorial this time. And uh, I'm going to continue on with discussing the live sampling feature. Uh, what I have done is I have created a spider audio merger and splitter and uh, what that's going to do is that's going to go and route anything that's coming through the, uh, the main mixer and actually I should just reroute this a little bit so anything that's going through this main mixer is also going to go um, out to the splitter to the to the live sampling input and it's also going to go out to the main output so now anything that's going through this mixer um, I can sample it on demand uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to create an NNXT advanced sampler. I'm going to open up the sampler in question here. I am going to load up a patch. Don't really care what the patch is. Actually, let's load something different. Let's go to a thumb piano. Alright, we don't want that. Let's go to the Reason Factory Sound Bank, NNXT Samples. Uh, let's go to a rhythmic sample. Okay, that's good enough. So, um, on this, what uh, what I've basically done is I'm, I'm going to be sampling. You can sample directly in the NNXT. So I'll just resample what I'm playing from the NNXT and it's going to get sampled back into the NNXT. So it's a little awkward but we just want to try to get into the sampling and and play around with some of the sampling edit parameters. So click on the um, start sampling button and as soon as you do you can start playing something and it'll automatically sample it. So click it, play it, Okay, so now you've got that sample and um, it actually sampled it right back in and you've got it down here in your NNXT. Uh, I'm not really going to use it, but I just wanted to get get into it and get it down here so that I can actually access the managed samples and get into the actual editing of that sample. So right click over the sample, click manage samples, and this window is going to show you all the samples that are in your song. The sample that you're going to be looking at is the self-contained samples, and you're going to see the sample there. Actually, you're going to see the sample two here, so let's just pull that up. Select it, hit the edit button, and that's going to open it up in the new sample editor window. Now a couple of things you can do with this window. You can obviously play it through. You can stop it. Okay, you can um, crop it if you want. Well, first what you could do is you could set your start point. So if you want to set your start point here, and you could set your end point over here if you wanted to. Um, what you can also do is if you click down the snap sample start end to transients, what that's going to do is if you move it around, it's going to find the transients just like it does in recycle, if you have recycle, and it will snap to it like it's snapping to a grid. Okay, so that is a helpful tool there. Same with the end. You can go to the different transients. Okay. And then once you do that, the start, if you move it back or if you move it forward, the start marker actually moves with the the play marker moves with the start marker. So that's one of the things that you can do. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually just click inside the window. and then you can click the set sample start and end and it's going to go it's going to snap to those boundaries that you've set and then if you play it it's going to start from there um, you can also cross fade the loop okay and that'll set um, set a cross fade on on the start and end of the loop you've got the different loop modes okay you can loop it forward and then you can play it. 
and then once it reaches the end, it's going to loop back again. Okay, so that's that loop mode. The forward-backward loop, let's just um, make the loop a little smaller so we can see what exactly is going on. So we'll make it like that. So if you're playing it in this loop mode, it's going to loop forward. Okay, if you click this loop mode, it's going to play forward and backward. And it reverses the sound. Okay, um, the other thing that you can do is you can actually reverse whatever you have um, inside the start and end points. Okay, so let's put it on the main loop mode. Um, if you move the start marker, let's say we'll start it here. Okay, so that's not going to work. Okay, so we'll set the start marker here. All right, um, we will click the reverse and that automatically reverses your entire sample. So when you play it, okay, move the start marker there, play it. So this is a really nice way to reverse your, your sample. I love that. Um, the normalize, obviously it's going to normalize the sound of the sample, okay. Okay, you can also, let's just get this, set this back again, reverse it. What you can also do is you can have a fade in or a fade out. Now how you use the fade in and fade out is you're going to want to select a portion that you want to fade in. So you're going to select, let's say, We'll use this as the fade. Actually, let's snap. Okay, yeah, let's use that as the fade. So this will be our fade in. Just click it, and it automatically fades, creates the fade for you. And you could do a fade out if you wanted to. Let's see. Let's end it here. Or actually, we'll end it here so we can see the fade. And let's select this portion, and we'll use that as the fade out. So you click that, and it fades out. You can click it again to fade it more. Okay, so now when you're playing your sample, it'll increase in volume to fade it in, and then it'll fade it out at the end. Okay, so these are all the different things you can do with your samples. Um, you can also, of course, crop it. So if you set up your start marker here and your end marker there, you can click the crop tool and it'll crop to that area that you selected. Uh, we went through the normalize, we went through the reverse, fade in, fade out, different loop modes. You can undo or redo, um, just like on most other programs. Set sample start end, cross fade the loop, set the loop. You can increase or decrease the volume if you'd like. Um, that's pretty much it. You can change the root key of the, of the sample. And I haven't really tried that yet, but let's just try that out. <laughs> Um, I would assume that this probably sets the root for if you're importing it into the NNXT. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's what it's for. So that's just a little um, take on what you can do in the window. Um, you can also zoom in, zoom out of your sample. It doesn't change the actual sample, but it allows you to get finer to fine tune your editing if you need to. Um, and last but not least, when you're finished doing all of these changes, save it, and that's going to now save it into your sample as sample two here, and you can play it, and, and hear it play. And then um, once you have it in here, what you can do is you can close this. I could go, for instance, into a Kong device, open up the drum, open up the nano sampler, and then of course I can go in, sorry, I can right click, uh, select where is it? Um, should be able to manage the samples from here. Okay, well, we don't have to do it that way, but what you can do is you can double click on this empty area, and up here in the browser, you'll notice there's the song samples, so you can click on that, click on the all self-contained samples, and you've got access to your samples. Click OK, and now that becomes your sample.
So you can use those samples. They are song specific. They will get saved with the song. So you have to keep that in mind as well. So um, that's pretty much it for how to edit your samples. I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, again, come visit me at reason101.net. My name's Rob, and uh, happy reasoning. Thanks.